All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Austin. In a story that was just broke by Forbes, which now I want to break to you, due to leaked information, we have uncovered that a $190 million Bitcoin fund has just been formed. This is featuring some of the top investors on Wall Street tied to notable people. And by the way, this is truly leaked information. We only know this because of a legal disclosure in a recent SEC filing. If you've ever been wondering what are the big players doing the big investment leaders in the space, let's go through it. Let's go through the SEC filing and just as a Bitcoin holder, what does this information mean to you? Let's do it. Let's dig in. The company is called the New York Digital Investment Group, the NYDIG, and today they disclosed in an SEC filing that they just closed a $190 million Bitcoin fund. Closed meaning they raised the money, meaning this thing exists now, the Bitcoin fund. And it's called the NYDIG Institutional Bitcoin Fund LP. And they report they have a total of 24 unnamed institutional investors. So how big is that? And what does that mean? Well, let's check the official filing for the United States SEC. The first thing I want to point out is that the year of incorporation slash organization was within the last five years, specifically 2018. Meaning specifically that the NYDIG started raising money, started organizing this fund a few years ago. So it's not like these people started, it's not like they're Bitcoin whales who came in in 2013 or 2014. They started organizing this group in the depths of the bear market in 2018. If you bought at the top, you might have even got in before they did. But this is the proof in the pudding that the accumulation for these guys, it just started. The principal place of business is in New York. What kind of investment fund is this? Not insurance, not investment banking. This is a pooled investment fund. And now this is a legally compliant, registered with the SEC place for institutions to buy Bitcoin. Hey guys, make sure you watch the whole video. Some of you guys were asking about crypto tax software. We'll talk about it. But the reason that so many people consider this so significant is because yes, $190 million in Wall Street terms could be bigger, but that same company, the New York Digital Investment Group, the NYDIG, last month raised $140 million for a similar investment vehicle, the Bitcoin Yield Enhancement Fund. So the NYDIG keeps investing in funds for institutional clientele to be able to purchase Bitcoin. And while the details of this most recent new fund are still a mystery, it is notable for another reason. Last month, the NYDIG, like I said, bought keeps buying Bitcoin funds. If the fund called the NYDIG Bitcoin Yield Enhancement Fund LP, which is the one they bought last month, is in fact a different financial instrument, the NYDIG has quietly become one of the largest institutional investors in Bitcoin in the United States, with a total of $330 million in Bitcoin between the two funds. Now, the minute I get more information on this, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to let you know. But this presence of a new majority player in the institutional investing space, Bitcoin space, is notable. To date, institutional investing in cryptocurrency has largely been dominated by Barry Silbert's Grayscale, which has $4 billion in assets under management, and also uh, something on the Toronto Stock Exchange, 3IQ, a smaller but significant $48 million exchange-traded product. If you have a take on this, I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I have to tell you about some recent DeFi altcoin news. Also, big news involving Bitcoin, SegWit, right out of Yahoo Finance. But first, just a reminder, the IRS is not extending the tax deadline, meaning that your taxes must be filed by July 15th. Hard deadline. So that's less than two weeks. Here at the channel for this tax season, Altcoin Daily has partnered with CryptoTrader.tax. This is what I'm personally using this year. Saves hours of manual work. And I want to show you in less than 90 seconds how easy it can be to file, report your crypto taxes. So specifically, just for the Altcoin Daily audience, for you, they're giving a 20, 20% 20 off limited time promo code just if you're an Altcoin Daily viewer 
just click the affiliate link down below in the description. It'll auto apply the discount on checkout. So how easy is it? First, we're just going to select the exchange slash platform that you've used in 2019. You can select as many as you want. Just select all the exchanges that you've used. Number two, import trades. So here are the two exchanges that I picked out. You can just upload your trading history, upload your CSV file that the exchange exports for you. Nine trades imported. Now, if you ever have any questions, there's walkthroughs, there's help guides that walk you through exactly how to find this information on your exchange for you. It's like such peace of mind having an app that does this for you rather, rather than having to do all of this manually. You can easily import through an API or again, just upload the CSV file. Woo, 101. Let's keep going. Other transactions. You just plug and chug if somebody sent you Bitcoin as a gift, if you spent Bitcoin on a merchant, if you're a miner and you didn't get your coins off an exchange, but you mined them. Was it income? Was it an airdrop? Was it a hard fork? Number four, review all trades. As you can see, sorted by clear, concise, time-stamped data. And number five, create report. If you have different years, each year will be here. Start report. And as you can see for me, everything is calculated in USD, which is always the hard part when you deal with cryptocurrency. Click download and you'll have everything. Just send the form directly to your accountant, directly to TurboTax, who they have also partnered with. And that's it's super easy to generate your crypto tax report. Again, special 20% off only if you're an altcoin daily viewer. Click the link down below. You have less than two weeks. Get it done. All right, next piece of news before Kyber. Right out of Yahoo Finance, after years of resistance, BitPay officially adopts SegWit for cheaper Bitcoin transactions. Very bullish for the congestion of the Bitcoin network. And this is directly out of their company website blog post. Crypto payments processor BitPay now supports segregated witness, SegWit, according to their website. In a direct quote, support for SegWit is currently an optional feature for Bitcoin wallets in the BitPay app, but later this year, as part of a phased rollout plan, support for SegWit will be a default for all Bitcoin wallets. In addition, later this year, SegWit will be implemented for invoice payments. This is three years in the making since BitPay opposed SegWit, adding congestion to Bitcoin. And this is significant because BitPay regularly processes some $1 billion in yearly payments. The firm processed over 100,000 payments in just April of 2020, with 91% being Bitcoin transactions. So the Bitcoin network just became a little more scalable, a little less congested. And next piece of quick news, a lot of you guys were wondering why the Kyber network is up 29% ahead of ETH staking reward launch. Let's just, what is Kyber network again? Well, Kyber network began development in 2017 as a decentralized liquidity protocol built for the Ethereum blockchain. So instant decentralized liquidity. By holding ERC-20 tokens in reserve in special smart contracts, Kyber enables users to trade any Ethereum token quickly without the need for centralized exchanges. Again, decentralized liquidity. And if you're wondering why the price is pumping, well, the Catalyst upgrade is being implemented on July 7th, where users can begin staking their KNC tokens immediately and can expect to receive their first batch of ETH payouts two weeks later, no minimum or maximum stake required. So basically you can begin staking and people are excited. And final piece of macroeconomic news right from Seyfedin Amos. For perspective, 10 years ago, one Lebanese lira was worth about 0.67 of a Bitcoin, over half a Bitcoin. Today it's worth two Satoshis. Whoop, 10 days later, as of a few days ago, update. Having lost half its value in the last 10 days, the Lebanese lira is now worth one Satoshi. This is the difference between a centralized government-backed currency and a hard-capped decentralized cryptocurrency. This is not some science fiction book. This is what we're fighting against. Something to keep in mind. Hey, by the way, we released two little Dan Held clips, interview clips, just some perspective you can maybe share with your friends, the smaller 
bite-sized clips. They're on our YouTube channel. Check them out. That's the video. My name's Austin. Like always, see you tomorrow.